All right, so that's what you just thought. Welcome to my official 200, uh, 2,000 subscriber vlog. It's been a while since 200 subscribers, but um, what for this vlog I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reevaluate where I've come in this short period of time. We've got a hundred new bodies in here and uh, significantly more videos. So let's let's look it back a little bit, see what people really loved, see what I really loved. And then at the end, I'm going to unveil my new intro. But I'll talk more about that when we get there. But to start off, um, I've tallied the, I've looked through what the fans said that it was their favorite Stalin moments, and I got quite a breadth of responses. It really made me happy that um, I got a lot of responses, but not very many of them were the same. That everybody kind of loved a different thing. So I thought that was really cool. But uh, because of that, I don't really have any particular order for uh, the five I chose, and I just kind of chose the five that were kind of uh, most frequently represented. So in no particular order, I'll just start off at the top here, and it says, uh, Darkest of Days, um, when I was had to kill my own Russians, which is very, very painful for me, and if you actually listen to that Let's Play, there were several moments where I actually came to tears because it hurt me physically, and it hurt me emotionally, and I didn't I didn't know what I was going to do, but it, I, I made, through, made it through, and uh, continuing with that Let's Play. Um, second here, which really surprised me, was my invasion of India from the Spanish campaign, which um, really surprised me because it hasn't—it's begun, and at this point, I've—I've I've just kind of established a beachhead in the bottom four uh, southern provinces of India, and are kind of reorganizing my troops to move north. But um, we haven't really started the invasion of India, not the, the bulk of it, so it kind of uh, surprised me to see that there. But uh, I, I guess the initial landing was pretty spectacular. Anyway, moving on. Um, the, the other one, the third one I have here is, of course, the uh, Stalin dance, the Stalin song from part six of Stalin vs. the Martians made it on here again, and I think that is quite a classic moment and will probably define me for quite some time to come. Number four I have written down is the uh, response to Prince of Macedon, which was also, uh, I, I spent one day basically just filming like random clips, just like, basically just me doing random shit. And then I kind of compiled it into something that was actually looked really professional uh, and looked really good, sounded really good, and was just generally hilarious. And I was really uh, happy to see that you guys put that down as um, as one of your favorites because I that was a, a lot of fun to do, and I really enjoyed doing it, and I really enjoyed watching it, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed watching it too. And the last one I have written down is William dies in Call of Juarez, and. Um, as we all know, that was quite a celebratory moment because William was probably the most annoying character uh, on the face of the planet in the face of video games. It was just generally the most irritating and most annoying person to ever exist in a video game. And uh, it was very happy when we saw him when we saw him go down. Quite a happy moment for everybody. But uh, I'll just go through some of the other ones I have uh, that the fans have said. And uh, these are kind of the lesser, lesser said ones. I've got... Um, the Union firing line from Darkest of Day Days. Um, another one, Darkest of Days one is just randomly sh going around shooting people in the face with a shotgun. Um, the Partiers from Realms of the Haunting. Uh, the End of Call of Juarez. Um, me returning from electroshock therapy from Stalin vs. the Martians. And that's all I have written down. But let's move on to my own personal favorites. My own personal favorites for. Uh, my Let's Plays. And coming in at number 10 is uh, the random episode from Mass Effect. Basically what happened was there was just a Krogan Battlemaster that I couldn't beat for quite some time and I tried over and over and over again. I took like an hour of footage of me trying to beat this guy. And um, I finally did it. But uh, I didn't want to show you guys an hour of footage of me just could, like continually failing. So uh, I basically condensed it into like two or three movie clips that kind of expressed my uh, my, my feelings during that time one was a Stalin dance, like the never gonna give up, so it expressed my feelings of determination. And um, then there was the uh, Scarface ending where Tony Montana shoots everybody and that expressed my uh, feelings of absolute rage and frustration. But anyway, that was a, that was a favorite of mine. Coming in at number nine is one from Realms of the Haunting. It's when uh, Adam happens to see any skeleton and he always remarks every single time that bone looks human every time and it drives me nuts because it's just so redundant that of course it looks like a human bone it's a goddamn skeleton you asshole sorry anyway number eight is the ottoman tunnel from uh, the ottoman campaign 
when all the Ottomans emerged in the Swedish mountains to kill uh, all the Swedes and overwhelm them in an epic battle. Um, hold on a second, I'm running out of footage. Alright, sorry about that, I was running out of space on my camera. So, um, I had to go delete some stuff. Well, here we are, we're coming in at number 7, which was uh, um, a montage I did in part 9 of Stalin vs. the Martians, which was another, um, another episode where they took away my tanks and just said you have to use infantry on this and uh, infantry in Salem vs. the Martians are, are totally useless so it was an incredibly hard level and I, I just broke it down into, a, into an epic montage of me struggling with the game number six is uh, my realms of the haunting it's uh, my divine reference I can't remember what part it was but uh, for those of you who don't know what divine is look up divine and you will either laugh your ass off or want to burn your eyes out with acid but uh, basically there was a character in, in Realms of the Haunting, like an enemy, and looked like it was dancing. So I totally made like the Divine reference at the end with, uh, with, her, with her song, uh, Shake It Up. So you should check that one out. Number five is the Union firing line from Darkest of Days, where I pull out like the automatic um, body-seeking weapon and just kind of unload on an entire Union firing line and force it to retreat. That was uh, one of the most awesome things I'd ever seen in my life. Number four, uh, that was number five, this is number four, is William Dies in Call of War as, and like I said, um, he was uh, one of the most irritating characters in video game history. And we're all quite pleased to see um, to see his death. I'm sure we all stood up and cheered a little bit when he, when he died. Uh, coming in at number three is, of course, the Stalin Dance, another... Um, epic moment from, from my Let's Plays and uh, I've, I've covered over that at a billion times and if you haven't seen it please go watch the, the Stalin Dance song. It's, it's really quite something. Number two is my Prince of Mastodon response and uh, maybe I should say a few words about, about that. That was not intended to be a, a slight or an insult against the Prince of Mastodon. It was something I made to kind of say that maybe he wasn't like this this evil bastard like a lot of people had had been telling me that me and him actually started talking he was actually turned out to be uh, a pretty cool guy so I kind of made th this video um, kind of playing off that and it, uh, making fun of myself making fun of him and making fun of his fans and kind of making fun of the people that told me this just kind of generally making fun of everyone in my own uh, twisted satirical way but it turned out incredibly well and I was very proud of it, and a lot of people flooded and, and gave me a, you know, a thumbs up. You did an awesome job here. Some people didn't get it, but those people don't understand humor, and they're pretty miserable people to begin with, and they should all crawl into a hole and die. Continuing on, and number one is um, Stalin vs. the Martians ending. It is my favorite moment of all time where I had the epic battle with the CD that came to life and tried to kill me, and I still have scars from that battle. It was... It was not easy to take down that possessed CD, but in reality, it was actually the kind of the first quote-unquote uh, film I did with with me, and um, actually having to like edit it and put it together into something like a to actually look like a little professional sort of project. And it was my first attempt at it, and it turned out way better than I could have ever expected. And it's something I'm extremely proud of, and is my favorite. Thing I've ever done on my Let's Plays, and it easily comes in for the uh, for the number one spot. And that's it. That is my list of the fans and my own top ten moments. I'm gonna sally out with the new intro, but before I I do, I'm gonna say a few words on it. It is ten seconds longer than my previous intro, and there's a lot more going on in it. It's a lot more complicated. And um, there's just a lot of shit going on in it, and I personally made it that way. So you have to you have to watch it, you know, five or six times to notice everything that's going on in it. Because uh, there's I, you you'll see the intro a lot, obviously. So I kind of wanted to make it that uh, you have to watch it a lot to un to kind of absorb everything that's happening in it. But it's really epic, and it gets me really pumped up. And um, it's definitely I worked really hard on it. It's a labor of love for my video and a labor of love for the fans, and I'm certain you'll enjoy it. Anyway, this is Joseph, he's Ron of Stalin, signing off for now, and I'll see you guys later.
Yeah.